Uh, Tina in West Midlands. Uh, good morning, um, Nick Clegg. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Um, this country prides itself on freedom for, um, for speech, uh, but what happened to Lee Rigby last week, I believe, was freedom of slaughter. What I want to ask is why is it not possible to stop hate preachers like Anjem Chowdhury? Well, funny enough, I was talking to the on the two days two days after the uh, the horrific attack in Woolwich. I was talking to a number of uh, leaders of different Muslim communities, um, different mosques in a in an event, a sort of multi faith event that I held in in London. Uh, and they, and I think this is really this is really important. They themselves were furious that Anjum Chowdhury was being given so much. You know, so much publicity. Now, I don't actually think it is for governments to start pointing a long finger and telling broadcasters, you know, thou shalt invite that person, thou shalt not invite that person on their programme, because then, quite rightly, as you say, Tina, that would destroy the kind of democracy and freedom and freedom of expression that we all treasure. But what I said to them was, I said, listen, you guys should get, as, as I think they have done, you should get in touch with the producers of these programmes and say, Anjum Chowdhury and people like him do not represent the vast, 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 overwhelming majority of of, of law-abiding, peace-loving uh, Muslims in this country and elsewhere in the world. And I think the more we can actually have... If you like, if you like I'm all, I want more freedom of speech in the sense that I want more uh, moderate Muslim leaders to speak up, as they did in unison last week, saying people like that do not represent but our But they'll faith. always get drowned out by one hothead, potentially, won't they, Deputy well, Prime Minister? Well, I, I, think, I think actually what we saw last week was a, was a very unambiguous and universal condemnation by a whole range of different Muslim uh, leaders, leaders of the, of the Muslim communities in Britain, who otherwise might disagree on various aspects. I, it was one of the first times I can remember where it was totally universal and completely unambiguous. And I think that's really important because the signal has got to go out, particularly to young Muslim men. It tends to be young men, um, uh, young Muslim men who might be who might be susceptible to some of these vile, perverted ideologies, the signal's got to come out from people in their own community that that is not an acceptable or recognised understanding of their faith, of Islam. It's a total perversion and corruption of it. So should broadcasters not give these people their time? Look, I, 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 is I think... Is it yes or no? Is it not um, it is, no, I'll tell you what. It is not for politicians to tell broadcasters who they can uh, invite on their, on their programme. You could urge. It, 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 I could certainly... Uh, I, what I would find you do? If you ran LBC or Sky News, would you use Anjem Chowdhury? I think Anjem Chowdhury clearly doesn't represent the vast majority of Muslims in this country. Not He's completely unrepresented. If, if you were running LBC or Sky News, would I, you use him? I'm simply not going to take up your invitation to start saying who I think should and shouldn't be invited on programmes. Really? Yes, yeah, of course not. Of course not. Do you really want to? Do you really want to live in a society I've been where you're? By your see, view. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I've, I've just put you in a different job. I'm you're no old, longer deputy yeah. prime minister. You've been no. promoted to well, running LBC. Whatever job I have, and I'm old-fashioned liberal, who actually believes that that people. What is a liberal? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you in this important respect, a liberal means this, is that I think abhorrent ideologies are best defeated when they are argued against, when they're demolished and when they're showed up to be as perverted and corrupt as they are. If you, if you, were, to, if you were to say to someone like Anjum Chowdhury, whose, whose views I suspect everyone listening to this programme, um, uh, everybody abhors, if, you, if you were to say, right, the government is going to go after this guy, we're going to stop him appearing on British television shows, guess what would happen in my view? He'd become a hero. He'd become a hero in his own community. Far from actually discrediting his, his appalling ideology, you'd actually turn him into a figurehead. Is that smart? I don't think it's smart. I'm a, I'm a liberal who passionately believes that, 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 that moderation, non-violence, open argument is the way to secure our, our safety. And that if you try and brush people, if you like, under the carpet, what you actually eff often end up doing is turning them into more powerful, more extremist figures in the communities in which they operate.